rappers who killed their friends. A bond between friends is something irreplaceable and special, yet oftentimes negative feelings get intertwined in the friendship and can turn violent, even lethal in some cases. These situations often stem from feelings of jealousy or monetary dilemmas. In today's video, we are going to discuss rappers who killed their friend and the reason why. But first, and before the start of the video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to join this month's giveaway on some of the free stuff on your screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. Watch the video till the end and then leave a comment with the keyword down below. YNW Melly Jamel Maurice Demons, whose stage name is YNW Melly, is a rapper and songwriter from Gifford, Florida. He is best known for his song, Murder On My Mind, which gained a mass popularity after his allegedly retelling of true events and the song being used in court against him for murder charges. The song became a global trend, having parodies and dances made for the song. Before this incident, Demons had quite a criminal record, including possession of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of a firearm, and ammunition by a convicted felon. In February of 2019, Demons was charged with two counts of first-degree murder after killing two of his close childhood friends. On October 26 of 2018, Demon's friends and fellow rappers YMW Hoovy, aka 19-year-old Christopher Thomas Jr., and YMW Sack Chaser, aka 21-year-old Anthony Williams, were shot to death by Demon's and another childhood friend, Cortland Henry. Demon's and Henry conspired together to stage a drive-by shooting to kill Thomas and Williams. Though the exact motive behind these murders is unknown, a video posted by Demon's mother suggests that the two may have threatened her for money resulting in Demons and Henry getting defensive. However, this accusation has never been confirmed by neither Demons nor Henry. On February 25th of 2019, public court documents were released that proved Demons was at the scene of the crime and not just passed by it, as he claims. In addition, autopsy reports and evidence from a blood splatter analyst show that Williams and Thomas were shot in close proximity, indicating that they were both shots from the inside of the vehicle. Bullet holes on the outside of the vehicle were staged and did not match up with the entrance and exit wounds of the two. In addition, the story that the two told the hospital and the story that they told the police and the story that they have told their lawyers varied greatly, further indicating that the two were hiding the truth. This could very well be their downfall while arguing their case in the court of law. Despite the evidence, both Demons and Henry are upholding their side of the story that they were not the killers. Because of the double homicide, Melly is currently awaiting trial facing a minimum of 55 years and could face life without parole or even the death sentence by lethal injection. Demons applied for early release because of the pandemic and his asthma and bronchitis after being diagnosed with 19 and wanted better care but were denied. He has since fully recovered from the ailment. Lil Loaded In this next individual, we'd like to let you know that everything surrounding Lil Loaded being the man behind the murder is alleged. Lil Loaded, whose given name is Deshaun Maurice Robertson, was said to have been involved in a shooting that left his friend Khalil Walker dead. On October 5th of 2020, local police officers were called to the home of Walker in the 7200 block of Lost Canyon Drive in the Woods neighborhood of Southern Dallas. Walker was found shot with gunshot wounds to the torso by means of a rifle and was taken to the Methodist Charlton Medical Center where he would later die from his injuries. Walker's sister, who was inside of the home, says that Robertson, Walker, and one other were outside and two gunshots could be heard. When she went to check on the commotion, she saw Robertson and the other individual standing over her brother. Robertson has taken Walker to the hospital and then dropped off the witness before returning home. He fled to Florida for several days before returning to Texas and turning himself in after a warrant being posted for his arrest. Robertson was held in the Dallas County Jail and his bail was placed at $75,000. His bail was paid and house arrest lifted so that he could travel for his career. Robertson declared his innocence in an Instagram post saying, quote, they try to make you look guilty when you're innocent regardless. On March 5th of 2021, Robertson was indicted on lesser charges, and he is awaiting trial to determine if he is truly responsible for the murder. Robert Dupree Avery Coltrane In October of 2020, local police assisted a Virginia man who was in a traffic accident on Palmetto Expressway near Miami Lakes. Police noted the pungent smell of rotting flesh and flies swarming the car. Upon further inspection of the silver Acura, they found the body of Brian Trotter, a 25-year-old aspiring hip-hop artist who went by the alias Kent Won't Stop, who had gone missing a week before from Triangle, Virginia. The driver, 25-year-old Robert Dupree Avery Coltrane, was charged with second-degree murder alongside illegal transportation of human remains after shooting his friend dead. The two had been friends for over a decade, 
participating in high school sports and promoting their music careers together. On October 17th of 2020, Coltrane picked up Trotter from his father's house. Trotter's father recalled the event, saying, quote, I heard a knock on the door. It was Rob. He was very reluctant to talk to me. I noticed he was acting really strange. Usually, Rob comes into the house. This time, he was really distant and nervous and antsy. The two were supposed to go into Washington, D.C. to take promotional photographs for their music, but neither one made it back to Trotter's house. Autopsy reports reveal that Trotter was shot to death. Coltrane has refused to speak on the matter and is still awaiting trial. We can only hope that the victim's family receives clarity and closure as to what happened. Big Lurch Antron Singleton, whose stage name is Big Lurch, was a Dallas rapper best known for his involvement in the hip-hop group Cosmic Slop Shop and his involvement in the brutal murder of his friend and roommate, Tynesha Sace. On April 10th of 2002, Sace was found in her apartment by a friend. Her chest had been torn open with a three-inch brain that was found in her scapula. Her lungs had been torn from her chest and teeth marks had been found around her body. The same friend found Singleton standing in the street, covered in blood, naked, and staring at the sky. The boyfriend of the victim admitted to using PCP with the rapper the day before. A year and a half later, on November 7th of 2003, though Singleton's lawyers argued that the psychotic state was caused by the drug use the night before, he was sentenced to life in prison on counts of murder and aggravated mayhem. However, according to Californian law at the time, drugs cannot be used as grounds for the insanity plea. In 2011, he was interviewed for the documentary Rhyme and Punishment, and was one of two individuals who had their story of drug-induced cannibalism told. Sace's mother filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Singleton, his bodyguard, and Death Row Records, but the charges against the bodyguard and Death Row Records were dropped due to insignificant evidence toward their involvement in a gruesome murder. Chi Ali Chi Ali Griffith, or simply Chi Ali, is an American rapper from the Bronx, New York City. He is best known for his debut album, The Fabulous Chi Ali, as well as murdering his girlfriend's brother. On January 14th of 2000, Ali shot and killed his girlfriend's brother, Sean Raymond, following a minor disagreement after Raymond told him that he could suck his d Ali was originally charged with second-degree murder, illegal firearm use, reckless endangerment, and criminal possession of firearms and ammunition. He was on the run for over a year, not being caught until March 5th of 2001 when he was arrested on marijuana charges. Ali was sentenced to 14 years and served 12 of those years at the Sing Sing Correctional Facility, a maximum security prison in Ossining, New York. You made it to the end of the video, I want to thank you so much for sticking around. Hey you! Yeah, you! You like this video? Great! We got another one for you that we guarantee you would like. All you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click fast because this message will self-destruct in 5 seconds.